Thumbs up when you got it. Hey guys, Randy X here. Um, playing with the uh, Fire Force from Darton. Crossbow, 400 feet per second. Very well built bow. Seems heavy duty. Uh, shot it a few times. Uh, probably shot it 15 times. It's uh, it's a little long for my liking. I'm short, and of course, got a gut. So uh, it's it's up into my into my gut pretty good, which makes it a little difficult for me to cock. I'm about five ten and a half. Um, you go through the handle. Doesn't have a uh, doesn't have a string groove. A little long on the draw. Not a deal breaker, but um, it's not easy for me. All right. First thing you want to do, this does not have an auto safety. You want to reach down, put the safety on. Uh, it's got a little bit of shock to it, a uh, little bit of vibration. Uh, it's 400 feet per second. I mean, you, you start trading off when you start shooting at these kind of speeds. Um, again, it's a little long for me. Um, that power stroke, the long power stroke, it's probably got to be that way. Taller guys probably have no, no issue with it at all. So we're gonna give it a shot or two. I'm not shooting for accuracy. Um, I'm just uh, simply uh, reviewing the bow. Like I say, it does not have an auto safety. So, be very careful as with all crossbows. Never put your hand in the triangle of death. Um, you want to stay behind the string stops. If you don't have string stops, stay behind where the string should, should normally stop. Um, it's very regrettable if you do. All right, we're going to give it a shot here. Um, and then I'll talk about a few things. And uh, I've got one arrow down, down range already. I'm just shooting at 30 yards. I've got gold tip laser threes. They're not the pros. Um, I indexed them a little bit and tried to uh, turn knocks to get them to come in a little bit. I think they're lightly spined for this bow uh, and 185 pound draw weight. Um, it's fairly accurate um, from, what, from what, I, what I can get out of the arrows. Um, again, I think they're a little lightly spined. Again, I'm not shooting for uh, accuracy. The safety is forward here. Um, it's a little noisy if you simply push it. You, you hear it, you know, you, of course you hear the click. Um, I will try to take it off as quietly as I can. You know how we pinch it. There's really no way to, to, to quieten it. It's, there's, there's a definite click there. Um, again, it's got the uh, soft touch coating on there, which, which does really feel nice. This uh, bow came with the package that has the scope. It is a, uh, I think it's a two to seven. It is a two to seven uh, by 40. It has crosshairs uh, inside of it. It's illuminated. So let's give it a shot and you can hear the noise. Like I said, it's got a little vibration uh, and, and it's a little bit of noise, but it's a 400 feet per second bow. So we're just giving it a quick shot. It's got a, uh, I'm not sure what the poundage on the trigger is. Seems to be about three and a half pounds, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit more of that. Um, it's got a bit of creep to it, which I guess is, is some people like, some people don't. It's your own preferences. Um, I've got, like I say, maybe 15, 16 shots now in it. The serving has started to separate. Um, I noticed. And I can probably slide that back together. Well, I'm not gonna mess with it. I'll ship it back like this so they can get aware of that. 
Um, another thing that, I, that I'm not crazy about is having no serving out here on the string stops uh, with this high poundage bow and as fast a bow as it is to, uh, to, really, to really not have any protection there. Um, it's not a deal breaker, but it might would concern me over time. Just keep an eye on your string there and all that. But, uh, again, it's the Dart and Fire Force. It's, uh, I chronied it at 388. Point one feet per second. I can't remember the weight of the arrows. I think they're about four, four twelve, four hundred twelve grains. That's uh, the Dart and Fire Force. It's uh, seems to be narrow enough. Like I say, it's uh, it's a good bow, well built, a little long for me. So uh, if you're considering the Fire Force, just remember it, it's a little long but uh, seems to be a, a real strong contender. Um, it's fairly accurate, as you can see, on the target. That, uh, you know, like I say, I'm not shooting for accuracy. I just had it, I got it on the paper and, and shot. It uh, comes with a quiver and sling. It's like the neoprene foam sling. Um, seems to be seems to be very well built. All right. Appreciate you watching.